Wake up. It's time to kickstart your day with Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration. Daily Dose of Inspiration. Good morning and welcome to this brand new day. This is Scripture Link's Daily Dose of Inspiration for Tuesday, October 3rd, 2023. And as you wake up and you start this brand new day, don't forget and take time to give God praise and to thank Him for giving you this new day. As you know, a new day isn't promised any of us, so make sure you use this day to your full, to its fullest and bring glory to God and thank Him for it. Today is National Techies Day. Would you consider yourself a techie? You know, someone that's got to have the latest technology all the time. And at one time, I would have considered myself one. But anymore, it seems like tech technology is outdated before you even get the package home and, wrap, and unwrapped. So I don't do that stuff anymore. I keep my tech until it breaks or until it doesn't work anymore, something like that. Today, we're going to take a look at the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter number 10. And we're going to look specifically at verses 3, 4, and 5. And we're going to talk about the spiritual warfare that each of us goes through, that each of us deals with. And, you know, each, each of us is in a battle each and every day. Um, sometimes minute by minute, sometimes second by second. And there's some things we need to understand and things we need to realize about that spiritual battle that we're in. So let's, let's take a look at these verses. Paul says, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God, and bring into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. So let's break it down here. We may walk in the flesh. We may walk around in these nasty bodies that we have now and we may walk around that way, but our battle is spiritual. He says that in verse number three, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. And he echoes those words in Ephesians chapter number six, when he says that our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against the principalities and the darkness and the rulers of this world. So my battle is not with another human being. My battle is not with another part of God's creation. My battle is spiritual. Your battle is spiritual. And that's what we need to remember. Then Paul says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. The weapons we use in this spiritual warfare are not worldly. Do you see that? Are not worldly. There's a good friend of mine, well I shouldn't say good friend, I haven't talked to him in quite some time, but he's a podcaster and does stuff on, on Instagram and YouTube and all that. Anyway, one of his slogans that he uses on a regular basis is smack the devil in the mouth. Okay, our spiritual war is not fought with, with our hands, it's fought with God, it's fought through God. That's what he says here in verse number four. The weapons of our warfare are not worldly. He says, but mighty. How? Through God. That's where our weapons come from. That's where our spiritual weapons come from. They come from God. And then he says, to the pulling down of strongholds. Now I want to stop right there for just a second. Because what strongholds are in your life? When he says strongholds, he means a place of reinforcements. You know, a place that, that the soldiers in the battlefield can go for protection that is reinforced, that is going to be hard to destroy. And each and every one of us has areas in our life that is that exact same way, hard to destroy. It's where we, it may be our comfort zone. 
but those strongholds need to be pulled down. And then what what strongholds is he talking about? Well, verse 5, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalteth itself against the knowledge of God. So in other words, he's going to cast down everything that that goes against the things of God. Imaginations, idols, anything that goes against the knowledge of God is what is going to be torn down. And just about all the strongholds that you or I can have in our life can be boiled down to that one simple topic. And then he says, after we we cast down all these these strongholds, he says, then he's going to bring into captivity every thought. He's going to take into captivity every thought. He's going to think about his thought. And then he says, to the obedience of Christ. He's going to bring into captivity every thought he has until that thought, until that thought starts being obedient to Christ. So friends, let me ask you this. Are you trying to fight your spiritual battle on your own? If you are, you're not going to win. You're not going to make it. Apart from God, we're no match for the devil. We're no match for his his demons. But through God, that's a different story. But think about that. Think about, think about, are you trusting God to fight your battles? Or are you trying to fight your battles on your own? Think about that as you go through this day. And remember, get into God's word and allow God's word to get into you. Then share that word with someone today. Have a blessed day. Hello, this is Heaven. May I help you? Uh, yeah, I think I found a flaw in your manual. You mean the Bible? Yes. You know that section that says, So in everything, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you. Matthew chapter 7, verse 12. Sure. Now, when you say everything, does that mean everything? Or are there exceptions? What is it about the word everything that you don't understand, sir? Well, I have this really obnoxious brother-in-law, and I would love to just take some chicken feathers and some hot uh, chocolate sir. syrup and... Sir? Oh, I'm sorry. Um... Surely there's got to be an exception to that rule. Trust me, sir. How about a loophole? There's a very good reason why there's no exception in that section. I don't think whoever wrote that ever met my brother-in-law. Regardless, sir, that section is a part of God's standard for how we are to treat others. We can't apply his standard only when it's convenient. It's easy to think our circumstances are unusual, but are you willing to obey God even when it's tough? Another message from Lifeline Productions, the comic strip of radio at lifelinepro.com. Thank you.